Is your team performing as expected today? Are individuals on your team meeting business partner expectations? Are you sure? Hi, I'm Peter Nickel, Data Science CIO. Today we're going to get into how to make sure that you have an accurate pulse on managing expectations from your business partners. We all know that building relationships and maintaining those relationships are paramount in being successful in any environment. And it starts with really managing expectations and getting direct feedback on how the team's performing and more specifically, how individuals on your team are being perceived and evaluated externally. One of the tools that I've used over the years that I found very powerful is a business partner survey. Years ago, they used to be framed as 360 reviews, but I think a lot of us having gone through those for years felt those didn't add a lot of value. But a business partner survey is a little bit different. What this allows you to do is get direct feedback from your business partners on individuals for on your team, unfiltered. So the benefit is you're getting feedback that's directly from that business partner and there's no middleman. There's no person to filter or manipulate or slightly change that feedback. We've all been in environments where we thought maybe that review didn't accurately re reflect our performance or we performed better than that review stated. And you definitely don't want to do that to your team. You want to give them the best opportunity possible to perform at their best. And what that means is giving them the most information in a timely fashion to be able to course correct or be able to empower and promote them if, if that's also part of the solution. So what does the business partner survey look like? It roughly has three sections. It has an introduction section that talks about why it's being conducted, the fact that it's not part of the formal review process, but it's being used as a measure to imp improve and bring your team to that next level. The second part is who's being evaluated? What's the scope? What are the business channels or divisions or business units that are in scope for this discussion? And last, you have the question specifically. And a couple of examples of questions might be, does this individual perform with a sense of urgency? Is this person considered a master in this business? Is this person inclusive in bringing and respecting the opinions of others? Does this person act in a timely fashion or does this person get results that are expected? And what's interesting about this is you make sure that those responses are yes or no or not applicable. So the only viable answers are yes, no, or NA. And what this does is instead of having a scale of one to five or one to 10, that's very subjective, it basically states either yes, this person has urgency or no, they don't. And there's no middle ground. And what this helps the business partner do is make a decision and choose a side. They're performing and meeting my objectives or no, they're not, but there's no gray area. And the last part of that survey is, is subjective and it's just a, a five to eight line comment section that allows the business partner to articulate in their own words anything that is not part of that survey, anything they want to add or contribute. So what the benefit is when you have this survey, you have an awesome tool to empower your team. If course corrective action is needed, you have a great way to facilitate that conversation and provide specific examples of how to get that person's behavior heading in the right direction. Inversely, they might be a rock star and you might be able to use this information as power to promote that individual. Taking a few steps and getting the information and building the business partner survey is an awesome way to not only empower your team, but give them direct and timely feedback that they deserve. Hi, I'm Peter Nickel, Data Science CIO. Have a great week.